The ABC 7 I team learned tonight that a federal grand jury in Miami indicted several alleged top members of a Chicago Bay street gang. They're accused of committing multiple murders in Florida and Metro Chicago. Eyewitness News investigative reporter Chuck Gowdy joining us tonight. Chuck has details. Kathy Ron accused leading members of the Chicago and Florida gang created coast-to-coast -coast chaos, according to federal law enforcement, operating an organization as if it was a five, Fortune 500 firm. Tonight, the I-Team has learned that the grand jury indictments have been unsealed in South Florida against five suspected gang killers who were allegedly in cahoots with their gang brothers in Chicago, supposedly committing murders and other crimes here and there. According to the indictment, they were part of the Imperial Gangster Street Gang that originated on Chicago's north side in the early 1960s. Federal authorities tonight say the gang has evolved into a national organized crime threat, even though their gang color is pink and symbol is a cartoon character. Tonight, those seen here and several others under arrest are accused of multiple murders in Chicago, East Chicago, Indiana, and South Florida. Federal indictments state the men aim to enrich gang leadership and members and that they protected their power and drug trade territory through threats, intimidation, torture, and murder. The FBI says they would issue what was branded a CCSOS, shoot on sight order, or a CKOS, kill on sight, targeting gang members who were thought to be cooperating with police. Among those accused, 25-year-old Lionel Leo Carrera, 27-year-old Alex Enrique Arock Samariba, and Ramon Porky Madruga, who was 28. During the federal investigation, agents say they found gang territory in Chicago given names such as Devil Side and Dark Side. Franklin Park was called the Jungle and Northwest Indiana was Harbor or No Love Side. In Chicago, police say gang guns fuel gang shootings and killings and compose the majority of the city's violent crime problem. Tonight, Justice Department officials say indictments against the Imperial gangster leaders help to dismantle what they call the bloodshed. All of the men charged are in custody tonight. Federal agents say their gang had set up a financial system to purchase guns and wholesale drugs that were in turn sold at profit. They allegedly budgeted for members' bail money and attorney's fees, and those who were convicted found a few extra dollars in their prison commissary account, courtesy of gang leaders. That sounds a lot like the way the outfit has operated over the years. Well-organized mm -hmm. effort. Absolutely. Right, thanks, thanks, John.